We got if on a winter's night for travelers or if on a winter's night for travelers. I have no idea what that means, but it looked awesome. And apparently it is on a fixed window here. So the black screens on the right and left and on top will be gone now. Again, no clue about this game, only know that this is a point and click adventure with a dark setting. And by God, it looks old. Oh no, it's just that um, I know it must sound peculiar, but I can't seem to be able to recall how I got here. What did you mean? Surely you must remember something. Well, I was at this hotel in Rome that I do remember. The silent room. Ah, here it is. My shooting star, thrilled to see you. Please check in at the Grand Roma. Everything taken care of. We'll be there around noon. Love, P. You lucky, handsome devil. You really hit the jackpot this time. What if he's the one, the real one? Can you imagine? Carlo! Patrick, so happy to see you. Look at you, it's been a too long. I've missed you. Me too. I'm so happy you made it all the way here. Charlie, Carlo, I need to tell you something. Want to sit down? I'm fine here, thanks. Look, Carlo, we can't keep doing this. I'm sorry. I truly was starting to believe we were made for each other. And where exactly did you get that idea? Well, in your telegram, for example. I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you the one playing dumb now? Here, let me get it from the other room and I'll show you. You're exhausting, Carlo. Here it is. Thrilled to see me, he said. Undisputable proof that he loves m my shooting star. I see. How can I be so naive? Thrilled to dump me. That's what he was. Your shooting star, of course. Fleeting. A uh, passing glimpse and then gone. It's just wrong. I'm sorry, Carlo. Wrong? How can this be wrong? The only thing that's wrong is having to hide it. But things will get better one day. They have to. I read about this hospital near Turin, in Colegno. Carlo, they can fix you. There's nothing to fix. Spare me the excuse and just get out of here. Are you serious? Yes, completely. Why keep wasting your precious time? You are worse than sick, Carlo. You are deranged. I am so sorry for you. I think I'd rather wait downstairs in the lobby. Move away, I'm done with you. Then what are you waiting for? Don't let the door hit you on the your way out. Oh. 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 I didn't see that coming. Come again? What happened? Why am I standing here? I was on my way to the bathroom. I need to wash my face. I need to calm down. It's getting good, boys! Fuck you, Patrick. Patrick said! You got your way in the end, didn't you? This is all your fault. You hear me? Your fault! It's an invitation. To some kind of... Mask ball? What? How did that happen? And next thing you know, I'm here on this train with a drink in my hand. Excuse me, I'm so sorry to interrupt. I've been looking all over for my husband, but I cannot find him. Do we remember when you last saw him? Of course it was... This is embarrassing, but I, I am not quite so sure right now. It's alright, dearie. What do you remember then? It was raining. The slow vanishing of Lady Winterburn. Born. Winterborn. So I'm making an assumption here that this is train to hell? Or purgatory? Not too purgatory, but the train actually is purgatory. Outside? But it is yesterday. I cannot go outside when it is yesterday. So she's crazy. Or better, I am crazy. A letter from Lord Cavendish. What could he possibly want? Sorry for your loss. My most sincere condolences. What? Is this a joke? Has my husband seen this? Did the maid bring this? Where is she? What about holodanum consumption? Uh, has it 
decreased at all. No, but she mustn't uh, have much left. I haven't refilled her decanter in several days. And I've hidden the rest in the cabinet downstairs. Good. And this cabinet is locked? It is. The glass is thick and the lock strong. It is vital that she doesn't find the key. She needs to regain her composure and her health. More letters are arriving. So I'm a drug addict? Is Laudanum a drug? It is a drug. 100% mm -hmm. drug. Let's play some harp, baby. I think my husband died and I'm in deep depression and only with Laudanum I feel good. I don't know what's wrong. I feel so weak. Hey, back in the disgusting world again. Lord Windsor now. What is this? Deepest condolences again? But there's more. I am aware of the dire situation of the Winterborn family. Rumors about that precious Ming vase, one of the few pieces not yet sold. Uh oh. Don't do it. Yay! Let's fuck it up. And then get fucked up. Bonk. Yay. Drugs. Which one shall I play first? Uh... Giuseppe Verdi. The beloved husband is probably dead and I don't accept it. Seems there is something at the bottom of the pond. Umbrella! Hmm, that should work. Holy... It's my dead cat. My lord, my dear lord. What happened to you? Who did this? Did nobody see anything? Where is everybody? Help, I must find help! As the cars in which she was riding rolled up towards the driveway of the Winterburn Manor, the family cat, which had been missing for days, dashed onto the road in front of the vehicle. The chauffeur gave the driving wheel a sharp turn. No, no, no. Henry, dead? This is absurd. He's here, he's he's upstairs. I was waiting for him to come home, but he never arrived because he was here the whole time. Of course, how silly of me. That's it, he must be in his study. He'll know what to do. He's in his study, he's upstairs, he'll know. I need to see him, I need to see him now. This effect is awesome. Henry, are you there, Henry? Henry? What have they done to you? Yo, this is so awesome, man. Why did they hide you from me? I've missed you so much, my lord. I've been away for a while. But I'm here now. See, I could see the glass and the portrait behind me. I'm fading more and more. That's so clever, man. Did Henry send this? Will he be there? Oh, I hope so. What a surprise that would be. This must be my mask, then. It's so beautiful. And I... I was expecting Henry to meet me here, yet I can't seem to find him. Apologies, my name is Jordan Samuels. I'm a doctor. Your conversation caught my attention because I too cannot recall boarding this train or even waiting at any station. Very well, I guess I should start at the beginning then. I had been working late into the night. I tell you, it's purgatory. The Nameless Ritual.
And through this incision here, we can observe that the pancreas shows signs of inflammation. This tells us that the patient likely suffered from... Dr. Samuels? Um, alcoholism. Well, this surely indicates that... Excuse me, Dr. Hayward? Yes, Mr. Lowell? Why are you taking talking to the janitor? Oh, because I'm black. Now, now, boys, calm down. Dr. Samuels, you were saying... Some supplies have in fact gone missing lately. See, I knew it. Let's search him. Somebody hold him. The nightmares are getting worse. But today marks the 33rd day. Tonight I can complete the ritual. I must carry out the final preparations. There is no time to lose. Okay, let's summon Satan. I don't know why I clapped there, but it's part of the ritual. Uh, so what do I do? Mirror. If I perform the ritual correctly, the guardian should manifest himself in the mirror. If in if I face him with courage, he shall grant me power beyond all imagination. But if there is fear in my heart, well, I have nothing to lose anyway. Rose, I haven't studied. Yes, but it's the passage I need. The sun burns in golden flames. I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I should consult my books again. Yes! Onto flames of emerald. Emerald is green. It did work. Okay, the elements are aligned. So head, heart, and genitals. Yes, I feel it. It is time to enter the circle. It worked. Audentis Fortuna Juvat. There's but one more trial ahead of you. And you shall finally come face to face, face with the Guardian. You created the Guardian the first time you ever made a choice. And you've been feeding him ever since. With every action, every decision. Every act of charity. Every lustful thought. Every life saved. Everything you are, he is too. If your soul is corrupt, so is he. And everything you've given up, you will need to take back from him. Only after confronting him will you be able to cross the threshold. But fear not, you will understand soon enough. Now go. Oh shit. Oh no no, don't bother. There is nothing left of you but flesh. Uh, we are your voice now and you shall speak only through us. Now pay attention. I have. Given. My mind. To thee. Waters. Repeat now, Doctor. Yes, yes, you know what to do. You know what to do. Open the threshold, open the path to the Guardian. Become these empty yawning voids. You look. Okay, goodbye, I guess. Finally. The Hollow One. I was beginning to think it hadn't worked. It feels like I have been stuck here for an eternity. Very well then. Let us get this over with already. Exist no more, you. Yes, yes, at last. Time to get out of here. Am I a demon now? I remember nothing after that. <gasps> well, that's quite a story. The question is, where are we now? What if this is yet another test for me, for all of us? 
Oh my, what an idea. Look around you, Dr. Samuels. The only thing that is being put to the test here is how many glasses of champagne one can drink. Layla, could I have a word? Uh. What are you doing mingling with the humans? Are you tricking them again into telling you their stories? You know I can't help it. And you know it's not allowed. What do you find so fascinating about them anyway? I don't know. I wonder how it feels for them, I guess. The pain, the constant struggle, dying alone and forgotten, by their own hand even. But we can't mingle, and we can't allow ourselves to... Wait, what do you mean by that? By what? By their own hand even. If that's true, they should be at the back of the train. What are they doing here? I don't know. They just told me, you hear, you heard. No, there's something else here, don't... Don't tell me you have invited them personally. Please, don't tell any... You gave them masks, you sent invitations, you collected them. I, You can't do this. They were meant for below. You know how strict the numbers are. Are you insane? They, these ones deserved it. You should have heard what they went through. That is not your call to make. I know, I'm really sorry. It won't happen again, I swear. Oh, for the glory of... All right, all right. I won't say anything, but please don't do this ever again. They were meant for below. We're still going below, just a little less deep for them. Eligible for the redemption lottery every 144,000 years, even maybe never. It's still a better chance than what they had up there. Please, I just wanted to hear the stories. Layla, Layla. You're going to get us sent to the swamps one day. I told you, we are in purgatory, on our way to hell. I'm so clever. That <laughs> yeah, was pretty obvious, I guess. So this was the second game of our month of spooks here on this channel. If on a winter's night for travelers, still a way too long title, but it's great. Get it, it's free. It was pretty short, so I have more time for the next video here on this channel, which will be much scarier than this one and will take me more time because it's longer. I hope you're looking forward to my next video. I sure do. And I hope you like this one. See you guys around.